Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas Lonesome Road DLC. Okay, now that we have a bunch of shit in our inventory, let's actually... Wait, scout armor and trooper armor are different? Can I... Oh, I can. That's great. I'm not sure why I have this. Rad resistance plus five. Okay. And we can repair the arc wielder. So that it's in pristine condition. We don't need so many bowie knives. Alright. Alright. Okay. We don't really need to... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Fuck. So I do need to do this? But I... Is it or is it not what I found in that desk down there? I... Hmm. Can I climb up this? I can, but there's no point. Okay. I don't think I've saw this door before. Unless this is where I came from. I'm kind of confused now. Oh no. General Martin Retzlaff. Deactivate personal sentry systems. Open personal sentry doors. Personal sentry security status deactivated. Blurdy blurdy blurred. Oh. That's convenient. Oh, the desk. Aha! Wait, I'm taking the vodka. Use Eddie. Okay, so I just need to use him. Or her. Or it. I don't know. The fuck was this? Ooh, plasma rifle. Not that I like plasma rifles at all. Should've just pressed A. Dumb butt. Why can't I loot these robots? Why did I just take fission batteries? Fuck. I just got so loot happy. Sigh. Yeah, there we go. I don't need to upload it to Edie at all. Eddie, whatever. Fuck. So what was that thing that I got in the desk last time? Who knows? What? Mainframe? What? Wait, wait, wait. Do I need to actually... Lols. Ready. Steady. Fighty. Oh, shit. Please die. That's all. All the turrets fight for me. How wonderful. Oh god, it's that stupid ass alarm again. I think it was in Fallout 3 where I encountered this and it was very very annoying. That one time, that one building where stuff happened. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, they have like NCR money, they have they have legionnaire money. Like what's going on here? What are who are these people? Why am I taking all these? I don't know. Anything back here? Aha. Uh -huh. Ammo. Always a welcome addition to my bag. Shit. <laughs> Fail.
I don't think I need to. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, okay. This is the room that those uh, sentry bots were hiding in. Meals ready to eat. Yummy. U.S. Army combat armor. That's actually pretty damn good. Oh god, I'm fat. Uh, Eddie? Darling. <laughs> Let's trade stuff. Okay. I'm sure you won't mind because you're... You're a robot. You've got... You've got them... Mechanical muscles. Lovely. Now if you could take some of this shit as well. Why do I have 13 cartons of cigarettes? Why didn't I get rid of that before coming here? I don't feel like I'm gonna meet a vendor for a very long time. You can go home, courier. How do they know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just like bringing the Lord of Vegas his tribute, bending your knee to old world ghosts. You and that chip deserve each other. Twenty-nine less coins than other traitors have carried, if history's true. Now see the road the old world paves, and what the lights of new Vegas promise, if they haven't blinded your eyes. Eh? The f fuck? Maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6. Was courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Wait, wait, wait. What number courier am I? Too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. The radio message? I didn't I did not hear the radio message. <laughs> We've never spoken before, I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. Obviously. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born was a place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. What? You were supposed to carry the chip? Meant to. No. Never. Your burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. But you survived. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no, you are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe 
why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you, waiting for you to wake something else up with it. <laughs> so you refuse to deliver the chip. What, to set me up to die? We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it for a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. Uh, if you wanted me dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave's dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. You confuse me. <laughs> What is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now. Other than ghosts. More recent. Recruits. What? Area looks like it was hit with earthquakes or underground detonations. America sleeps in the divide. Giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. Oh. There's more. Oh. Only takes a few of them locked to the low ground to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. You'll see the extent, the miles of it, soon enough. you need to see it. Walk it. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats, other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. Inhabitants? Doesn't look like anyone's alive down there. These new inhabitants, not natives. Most of them. Came with duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations mark them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. You talk really weird. <sighs> Those bodies in the silo were NCR soldiers. Some special forces. I've never seen that before. A faction speech? Might have been. Once. To the divide they came. In the divide they rest. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy. Got what they deserved coming to the divide. The bear and bull, NCR Legion, came in waves before and after, right into the invisible fires, the wind ground collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers, you and I. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The fuck? They look like they were skinned. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other, for sport, like some tribal scarification. Falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. Hmm. Huh. 
Alright, they become ghouls, the radiation would strengthen them, heal their wounds, not the scars. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. The divine winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. Okay. And how are you speaking through Eddie? The robot with you. All of them are machines. Radios. Old world tech reshaped with new hands. Historians. Couriers carrying messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide. Tending other machines. That one. Sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you. Obey you. Carry it until we are face to face. Then there will be no more need for it to carry my words. Uh... Alright. Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. Okay. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. Okay. If we share history to before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. The only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away, at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> you know what? I totally didn't catch the whole meaning of that last conversation because of a certain fucking friend who keeps messaging me and I'm like texting back, recording. And he texts back. Like, you know I'm recording, why would you text back? Uh okay. I don't know. I have no idea what you just said. Thanks to my fucking. Ugh. Yeah, fine. I'll find a story. I'll call find you. The divide will send its worst I don't care. you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here. Courier left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Oh my god. I find people like that so annoying. No, I'm not talking about my friend. People like this guy, Courier 6, or previous Courier 6, or whatever the fuck he is. I absolutely hate people who talk like that. It drives me crazy. Oh my god. Okay, well, I've been told that I should get my explosives up, so let's do it. And I don't know why I had 40 out of 50 in that conversation when I have 38. So, I don't know. Oh, goody, it's time for a... <laughs> it's time for a perk. Be right back. Honestly, not a lot of the perks are really 
doing it for me. I'm going to just go with toughness. It's a good perk. And that'll be that. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to cut the video off here. And I'll see you guys next time when we actually explore the divide. Gosh.